Hey everybody, welcome back to another land place of Binding of Isaac anti birth. We got a two streak? What world is this? Alright. Zero luck. Four damage. Horrible rate of fire. Three HP, Bob's brain. 87Y7 FC3S. Ah, uh, it's not that bad. Whoa, we are we're quick. Our little legs are motoring. What's the price for flight for finding Mr. Right? You'll be alright tonight. Okay. Stand back. We got a key. This is oh, it's an XL floor. Okay, so this is like actually probably like a 50% chance to determine whether or not we win based on our performance on this floor. Not to set the stage with too much pressure on us here, but if we can get a deal with the devil, hopefully get a couple of good items as well. Any chance we can use fire mine to just like explode on one of these tinted rocks? I never thought about doing that. My guess is that it probably does not work, but uh, you know, one bomb gives us a great chance to get a deal with the devil now. And fire mine is always a little dicey, but you know, when it works, it works, man. And we could use whatever we can get from a DPS standpoint. All right, you know, we have a uh, we have a bomb. Oh, <laughs> oh, why? It fell slightly too short, just like my academic career. It's getting too real. All right, I'll show him. I'll show him all. Either way, light this dude on fire. He's gonna give you HP of some sort. Either we're staying alive, or we're gonna have more HP containers in which to hopefully give to a deal with the devil after this floor. Okay, we get the HP containers. We also get enough money to have a good chance of being able to buy maybe a spirit heart from the shop, for example. Just throwing that out there. Now, a tinted rock as well. I'm just staying as far back as seems sensible. Oh, charge me, you won't. Just staying as far back as seems sensible right now without Leaving us, you know, completely unable to deal any damage to these enemies. I can't remember if the fire mine shots, uh, the, the fires from the fire mine shots damage me. You probably, in my opinion, shouldn't tempt fate in that. We have our other item room. Please God. A spirit heart of some sort. To sleep ch per chance to dream. There's still a living enemy over here. Now watch, this is where I accidentally hit myself. No, I refuse. I don't want to take this pill yet. Just give me a chance to get the deal with the devil assured. Okay, that's bombs. I like it. Enough money to go to our shop. Now, all we need is uh, this to be spirit hearts. There's a spirit heart. Okay, and then we get a crawl space. Black market would be great now, actually, but we didn't get one because we never get one. <laughs> it makes me cry, but, uh, you know, I'm a big boy about it. I'm a big boy. I only cry when the camera's off. When it comes to Isaac-related stuff. We're talking about Vancouver Canucks 2011 Stanley Cup Finals loss to the Boston Bruins. You know, things get a little dicey sometimes. All right, we're back where we were one room ago as a result of fire mine and some inopportune damage. Let's do this. It's the problem. Like, these enemies just explode in our freaking faces. Okay, there's a spirit heart. I don't think we want the eraser as much as we want um, blank card. Okay, we definitely do not get hurt then. Tears up, so beautiful. Our rate of fire has gotten so much better in so short of a time. Um, might as well kill some time here, go get some extra money. Maybe we can get a card to go with blank card. Two golden poops has been very good, by the way. There's our item track. Grab this, there's no cards for sale. We don't need anything else. All right. So, actually, this floor has been quite good. Please, the fire. Although there were some times where it seemed like I might accidentally ruin my run by taking some inopportune damage. In the end, it's kind of turned out okay here. Presuming... Wait, 0% deal with the devil chance? Zero percent, though? It's an XL floor. No, once we fight the second boss, it's gonna say 100. Or at least, like, 36 in case I missed that we took red heart damage, but we didn't, though, is the thing. Really? Like, I'm, I'm actually just confused. I'm not even that offended, because we got fairly strong on this floor regardless. We can survive the, 
the slight here, but I'm a little concerned. I'm hoping that the penalty will be resolved when we walk into our next room. Oh, dude. Rate of fire is getting ridiculous. Okay, I guess we will have no deal with the devil, or we'll have a deal with the devil, but the chance will not be accurately reflected. Sure! Life goes on, honestly. It's, it's not bad. We'll take a little brim. Let's roll the dice. I'll take it. Rate of fire went down. Damage went down. Range went down. But in the whole scheme of things, it's not altogether that bad. I can live with it. Okay. 33% chance for a deal with the devil, but I'm very pleased with the way this went. I would love exactly that. We get the speed upgrade and we get HP. Um, we're actually well on our way towards a, a very successful run here. What would I say we need? Honestly, as much as I hate to say it, a damage upgrade would actually be pretty valuable right now. That was a, a ballsy choice, which is a very nice way to say that that choice was actually dumb. Um, it was not a sensible decision to spend... Uh, our only key on a golden chest, but I thought in the moment, you know, maybe our good luck would continue It didn't so be it. We can get into our shop at least or what might be a library Hello Ruka my fine furry friend <laughs> Good night you princes of Maine you kings of New England both of these are pretty good by the way. I actually quite like um Fly items. The Beelzebub transformation is, you know, yet another way to get the ability to fly. And occasionally there are some enemies or bosses for whom, uh, oh, being able to have a, you know, the ability to charm their flies effectively immediately upon starting the room is actually quite advantageous. But I think we gotta go first principles. And first principles here, oh, you. First principles here tell us that, uh, we're definitely better off going for uh, piercing shots, which are just like demonstrably great. Oh my god, right. We're on the... Uh, I almost just went straight down there because I forgot that when you start from an XL floor, you actually end up going down to the second floor. So that could have left us in a bad spot. We're going... We, sh we sh definitely should not have used bombs either. Good god. Now we're actually going down to the mine mines immediately here. Um, with... Uh, Starting to feel slightly less secure, just based on the fact that I'm kind of... I'm one floor further into the run than I thought I would be. But I understand it. And we actually did really well on that last floor. Demon Baby's okay, but um, piercing shots are, are really, really useful. And if I can just get enemies to stop exploding right next to my face, I think we'll be happy with where our life is going here. So this is not an XL floor. So really, on these floors, we're saving spirit hearts, but we're also just worried about survival. Good deal with the devil chance, lots of HP to spend on that, but not in, like, a, a dire circumstance by any means at all. Like, oh, that was a bit terrible. Um, our DPS is actually nice, and um, it's kind of weirder for you guys, because you're watching these episodes not... I mean, you're in the order that I've recorded them, but because Anti-Birth and Afterbirth are recorded at different rates and come out, you know, two per day versus one a day, um, you, you're you probably further ahead on Anti-Birth than the canonical actual recording dates for Afterbirth Plus. Like, you're seeing older Afterbirth Plus episodes and newer Anti-Birth episodes just because the differential length of the backlog. I've had a lot of Afterbirth Plus runs that have, have actually turned out fine, but have spent a large chunk of the runs being garbage. So, to have a, gr a horrible rate of fire turned into a great rate of fire by like our third floor, and to have largely okay DPS to back it up, if mostly by little, little brim, either way I'm still happy with it, um, is, is really nice. We want five bombs and uh, chance to take remote detonator, or do we want game kit? Well, we want five bombs, sadly. I'm waiting for our first uh, rune and or card. There's so many cards that can be useful with blank card. Really, like, this could, it could be anywhere from like an F, which is where it is right now, to like an A+, depending on what we get. Hierophant, Emperor, I'll, I'll invest in Black Candle, man. I feel like maybe every time I boot Anti-Birth, it pulls, whatever my donation machine is at in Afterbirth Plus is its value. And then when I bomb it... Oh, that was so bad. When I bomb it in Anti-Birth, 
It takes it out of my Afterbirth Plus donation machine. I mean, in the end, we're still like hovering around 400. It's not bad, but I, I'm starting to get the sneaking suspicion that that's what's happening there. All right, Great Gideon? Great Gideon. I'd rather fight Great Gideon than uh, Hornell, at least. But I'd rather fight uh, Tough Twins, I think. Especially with Fire Mind, I think they would just get destroyed. Still alive down there? Still alive down there? Oh, God! Spawned right freaking next to me. God, Bobby, God damn it. Crush him, crush him, crush him, break him, dust him, wishing and dusting and hoping and slaying. Uh, what are we at? 87% deal with the devil chance. That's huge. So that gives us a great chance of getting a deal with the devil. To preserve our ability to make it to the uh, dark path, I would love to have... Um... Well, that's a safe spot to stand here. I would love to have uh, something that gives us a benefit while also giving us a decent supply of, like, spirit hearts somehow. Like an Abaddon, for example. That gas. We might as well pop that, see what we get. Uh, we do get a card. Wheel of Fortune. Could be worse, you know? A value add on every single... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. A value add on every single bomb placed. It's not that bad, dude. Okay, you fucked that one. Just accept it. Take the L. Move along. Demon Baby, can you fuck off with uh, knocking my bombs out of the way? He's, he's done it again. What a dick. Still. This is not a top tier um, blank card play, but it's not necessarily terrible. Lump of Coal is fine. Blank card judgment. Now we're talking with gas. Okay. Down to the next floor, lost a lot of spirit hearts. Hoping we fight tough twins here. Hoping we get more spirit hearts as well. Hey, a spirit heart without actually requiring us to kill a fucking jerk off uh, spider at the same time. What a wonderful time to be alive. I didn't think that those existed anymore in the 22nd century of Isaac, but now, there's a museum exhibit I would make an effort to go see. History of the Canadian North. Snooze you lose, Grandpa. Something about video games? Sign me up. Oh, don't crash into me, Davey Matthews. Okay, so every time we have blank card judgment, I think we should pop it. And I actually feel like this is exactly the right opportunity to try something like this. We can actually make use of red hearts that drop on the ground. This guy could pay out with a dream. Ceremonial robes. Technically, probably would have been better to uh, save that until we killed the boss. So we'd guarantee ourselves two spirit hearts for the uh, for deal with the uh, <laughs> deal with the next floor access. We didn't, obviously. So you know, there's that. But as far as I'm concerned, we basically got a free sin robes. Ooh, the mulligan, baby. I love your way. Nothing wrong with that. And this battery charges are very valuable now. The more demon judgments, the merrier. And the more money, the merrier. Because we're going to get non-demon judgments as well, which is going to give us mostly HP. Sometimes mapping items or, you know, other shop-related items. Can't remember, but... The HP will be useful if for no other reason than also tackling... You know, demon judgments and getting them to their payouts. So, oh, it's another demon judgment. Syringes. Oh, no, we can't get spun anyway. Well, good syringes would still be good, but... Samson's lock. Unnecessary. We can't afford to go deeper than this right now. So, we'll wait for some more uh, HP. Secret room. Regular secret room. I actually wanted, to, uh, wanted it to be a second secret room. Ooh, so we could uh, maybe get some, like the the huge red heart room out of it would have been nice, but whatever. My dog, you are on fire. Do we have to go through this song and dance? I know we shouldn't be wasting a bomb for this when it's already open from the other side. But you know what are you gonna do? You know my mom. Grab these. Uh, Thirteen minutes. We're actually we're not gonna do boss rush probably. 
but we're not as far off from it as I would have thought. So let's see what we get from Reap Creep here. Um, we also have a 43% chance to deal with the Devil. It's not bad, actually. And we've gotten really lucky with our selection of items, actually. Like, I mean, if you just peep the right side, you can see that there's really no reason to complain here. We also should have, like, basically no means of which to die uh, or lose enough uh, black hearts or spirit hearts to not be able to make it through the next door. Which, you know, thankfully did work out for us. We'll take Mom's Lipstick. And then in here, we will take Guppy's Tail. And then I'll give you two of these. But we're going to come back out here because we got another Judgment. If we can play him and get HP, that's one thing. If we could get another Demon Judgment, then we get double value for our uh, Red Hearts that we gamble here. So this is also fine. We could maybe take Samson's Lock and get like a miniature Bloody Lust synergy out of Demon Judgments from Blank Card Judgment. But don't know how I really feel slash care about that. So there's permanent HP and temporary HP. Hook me up here, dude. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Growth hormones. And we're holding the judgment card, which is what we want. Beautiful. Okay, we might even be able to get one more charge on this floor. Oh. Oh. There's still an enemy down there. Um, I shouldn't have taken that HP. <laughs> I'll tell you that right away. Should have gone to the mob trap room instead. Oh, well. Um, well, all we need is one more charge to get there, and we're not going to get there. That's all right. Maybe battery charge, though? Ooh, you know the dream's real. No battery charge. Okay, okay. Down to the next floor. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There's a Northern Lion's Isaac Law, um, number 14. The amount of fineness is inversely proportional to the amount of time somebody says it's fine. That's a good rule for life like that. I mean, we could just try it here, but I think we're better off waiting until the next floor. Samson's Lock. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try Samson's Lock. I believe in the power of this trinket that I've barely ever used before. And don't go that way. Go Wait, wait, wait. We got the knife piece. We got the knife piece. All right. So far, so good. Played relatively well, I think. One more room, and, uh... Fuck Firemind, dude. I love it, but also I hate it. It's a regular judgment. Maybe that's what we need right now. Stack up some more HP. 41% deal with the Devil's no joke. We got a Guppy Dream here. We don't need more Spirit Hearts to, uh... Make progress. We only need to get to the Knife Room. There we go. More HP. And you can't teach that. I'm not sure if I'm interested in that. We don't really need other consumables. Money for judgments and my dicks for free. But I want my, I want my, I want my demon baby. Credit card, blank card, and credit card. As long as we don't forget about credit card. Uh, and we take it, you know, to, maybe to the shop on this floor. We can still use Blank Card Judgment for the rest of this floor, to be honest with you. For better or for worse, I'm kind of attached to the idea of this item. We certainly don't need money anymore. Uh, because we have Blank Card Credit Card. Even if we have to buy a battery charge to make it work for the first time. Wow, 48 hour energy means two Blank Card Judgments here. So obviously, like, I am hoping that these, like, all make demon judgments. Instead, they made two regular judgments. Got a sweet little toll booth going on here. Okay. Two of spades. I'm just gonna pop it. Take our HP. Alright, so we're out of money. Disregard that. We're in the money. And this is the, like, blank card judgment. It's not as flashy as blank card credit card, but look at the value we're getting out of this. Maybe mom transformation now. We might have already had it, I guess. Three tiers upgrades. Um, although, I, oh, we're not at the tiers cap. So we did get to get two tiers upgrades out of the three. That's disgusting. I'm actually debating whether or not blank card credit card is even the right thing. To use credit card once is extremely sensible. I'll admit that. If we don't use it once, that will be a, a failure of duty. However, blank card judgment is doing amazing things for us. I think we've almost exhausted the pool of items that we can get from a regular judgment. So we should take credit card now, because I'll have 41% chance that we get a deal with the devil. Um, 
we're gonna want to use credit card and get free deals with the devil because we already have precedent. So I don't see why we wouldn't. And we might as well use the blank card version for now. What does it cost us? It costs us one judgment. AKA effectively very, very little. Oh, I almost got out of it. We're, we're doing fine here. I think, uh, okay, we're still doing fine, but I was very scared momentarily. Didn't beat the odds, but we're gonna get a card card is hanged man just take it out of the system all right um again boss rush unlikely now impossible so well un implausible play that it's a regular ass judgment maybe we should have blown a bunch of judgments up no you only get points for blowing up the first judgment so we could have blown one judgment up for a better deal with the devil chance but not really uh too perturbed I would like some more demon judgments to show up. Um, for all of the judgments that we got here, the big payout was the two tiers upgrades. So we're still looking for something maybe a little bit more robust than that. That's what our item room and shop are for, which we have not yet seen on this floor. Don't shoot. Regular-ass judgment, that's fine. We don't have any money for you to pilfer anyway. So get out of here, regular-ass judgment. Where's your demon judgment at? If you're gonna step to me like that, you better have a demon judgment backing it up, buddy. Stop writing checks, your ass can't cash. Okay, we don't care about Cursed Skull at all. Um, I like the idea of the leech here as something that can give us more red hearts. Not only good for survival, decent at killing enemies. And then beyond that, uh, well, this will pop judgment, honestly. And I think I'm just gonna blow this one up and focus on the other one. Got our spirit heart out of it. Um, no reason to have credit card here. And we're done with the floor. Well, our shop kind of sucked. Straight up. You're gonna get blown up too. Save our money for the 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 one judgment we've played a bit more of. I'm not sure if that gives us better odds. It might be the same odds of paying out, but this guy's got tenure, so that's just politics, kid. Nothing personal. Nothing personnel, kid. That's good. Okay. Let's so come here. Play you. Play you. More HP is always good, but you know, wouldn't shy away from a compass. Oh, Daddy learned how to call his shots based on the fact that he's already had several items that have pulled a lot out of the pool that this guy can actually draw from. What a time to be alive. Okay, down to the next floor. Really, really good deal with the devil chance. I'm saying blank card, credit card, fuck off. I don't need it. I think it's actually worse for us than blank card judgment. Although blank card, credit card is free items, blank card judgment is effectively... It's not unlimited items, but it is a lot of items. Like, number of rooms in the game divided by four, assuming our HP holds, equals judgments. I'll give up yuck cards to play a demon judgment. Like, yuck cards are beautiful, but... Does not bother me. I don't even know what this guy can even pay out with anymore. I think we might be at the point where he can pay out with anything. Well, that's exciting times. Or if he could pay out with something, maybe I should just be less uh, concerned. There we go. More HP. I think I'm just gonna pop the sun card. I under blank card sun card basically gives you the win, but it's not as interesting of a win as a blank card judgment win is. So we got two boss trap rooms. This might be what I need to get me to go to both halves of the mausoleum. is uh, the ability to get into both of those boss trap rooms, at which point I'd be pretty flippin' stoked, Kip. It's a regular old judgment, though. We need a demon judgment at some point to take advantage of this. With an 82% deal with the devil, I think the next judgment, if it's a regular-assed judgment, we just blow his ass. 
Full stop. No, we just blow his ass sky high. Um, figured we might as well take advantage of that. Um, worked out very nicely. Yeah, okay. And actually, let's uh, let's juice ourselves up from a judgment perspective. Might as well grab like all of the available money over here. Come back and play this dude. Bomb. Bomb. I want to blow up the next judgment because the idea is, uh, you know, maybe get to 89% deal with the devil chance. Take our cancer trinket with us here. That was a really good setup. As far as I'm concerned, Lucky Rock basically uh, determines, or it gets the credit for our next, like, three judgment items. As long as they're regular judgments. Yeah, Cricket's body. This run's cool. This has been a fun one. It started out in, like, a slightly weird position, but after that first floor, it it really hit. Uh, we got 56 cents, so absolutely. I will buy something from the shop if, uh, if there's anything worthwhile. Okay, actually, Cricket's Body Fire Mine is horrifying, but also kind of cool. I don't want the key item, but I don't dislike it. Trying to keep the yuck heart if possible, but it may not be. Oh, it is possible. We got Gimpy out of it with a zero luck stat, so not necessarily thrilled about it. You know what? Get another one. Take my yuck heart, please. I still stand by this. Come on, come on, come on. Don't make me look like a fool here. Hematomesis buys us a little bit more time. Dope, another syringe. Probably not necessary, but I'll take it nonetheless. And got a bunch of money, we'll donate here. Okay, as much as we can at least. And we have another battery charge we can't get it because we can't fly. All right, so we're looking for deal with the devil chance, Guppy City right now. Oh, we need our knife piece. We almost just fucked that up considerably. Um, knife piece is actually one room away, so that's beautiful. Somebody out there should keep an audit and post it in the comments. I mean, I'm, I'm basically asking you to do work for free, so you can also tell me to fuck off. But um, it would be a helpful resource and reference if somebody in the comments was keeping track of what items and how many items we got from, uh, so far, from Blank Card uh, Judgment. Because I really, like, feeling quite positive about this item right now. Alright, let's do this. This item combination, I should say. Yeah, all path mom is no joke. Compounding our problems here is the fact that we really, like, we do a ton of damage. We need to stand very far away from enemies, though. So I'm going to take Polaroid. Uh, let's let's land the knife just to get that open. Uh, sure, I guess I'll take Eye of the Occult. Uh, can sort of aim our tears, which is... Well, the tears upgrade, I guess, is the big thing, but... Mostly, I like that we're... Ah, thank you, Gimpy. I like that we're tearing ass right now. That's that's the principal draw for me. Let's get out of here. And actually, this run could be over relatively quickly. So, just, you know, calm yourself, but also try to get the max value out of, uh, out of your judgments here. So, we got a regular ass judgment. Thank God we got Mom's Key earlier. These golden chests from Guppy's... Uh, Taylor working wonders for us. There's another HP up. Basically, you know, saving for the future there. More demon judgments that we can safely play. Safely-ish play. Stay back. <laughs> the only way for enemies to hurt us is for them to get close to us. Oh, well, that felt great. Yeah, that was that was totally fine. Despite the fact that we got hit. That was worse. That was really bad. <laughs> Oh, Demon Judgment. Dude, don't mind if I freaking do. Takes full hearts. Fanny Pack from an earlier Judgment is giving us a way out, though, which I respect and appreciate. Emperor card, sure. Sure, okay, okay, okay. Hmm, now we gotta be somewhat cautious. Two Judgments? No, we got... Alright. Uh, walk out? I can't walk back in! That's alright. Still 
completely fine. We should have just opened one of those instead. I stand by this model. It will work. Tears up is useless, but it's the thought that counts. Stars? It's not a teleporter, but... Come on, dude. How many plays you got in you? You still want to be doing this when you're 30? Let's just stand back! <laughs> if we can just firebomb these areas, like, the enemies are going to be destroyed so quickly. There is a little risk inherent, though. So, I mean, Blank Card Emperor wins us the game probably immediately. But we miss out on all the fun of Judgment. So I think you hold on to Blank Card Judgment. Even though I will be trying to make it to the, you know, boss fight as fast as possible. I prefer to tackle things like this. Alright, this is a test because this guy does rush us down a little bit. We want to make sure that the enemies are as far away as possible. I think we're going to be really good against the first phase of the witness. And the second phase of the witness could be like a total clusterfuck. Okay, so tears up again, worthless, but the spirit hearts are beautiful. Another syringe. Okay, we're gonna go back for uh, all we got there was shot speed. We're gonna go back if they'll allow us uh, and pick up everything that we can pick up here. All the HP at least. I don't know. Uh, actually, I'm starting to get like flash forwards that maybe I'm just going to accidentally murder myself with these judgment cards. So I think you throw down one last judgment, blow them up for HP. Sure. It actually was not very good, but um yeah, that you know what? Smart play. <laughs> Tower card, no. Stars card, no. Wizard card, no. Emperor card, yes. And then we use the emperor to finagle the victory. I think we've earned it at this point. So let's get our items and hopefully we'll be able to beat the boss. I think damage-wise, we should be set. It's just a matter of whether or not we hurt ourselves. Um, I think we actually should play this, like, a little bit. I regret everything, basically. Z How do we have zero luck at this point in our lives? Like, I really thought that maybe we'd get a payout here. In the form of HP. Come on, dude. HP? We don't really need a blank card charge. It would be ironic if this is what destroyed us. Was making that decision and, and getting rid of our judgment card at the last minute. Well, straight up then. Let's let's make it to our boss area. Onk. Cursed Eye. Rubble Baby. Play-Doh Tears. Uh, I mean, we'll hold Onk. I think Play-Doh Tears could be awesome or god-awful. I'm actually thinking we just do a few extra rooms here just to maybe get some HP back. Yeah, like, it would be nice if we didn't take one hit, get two HP. I can live with it, but... You know what? Alright, I can, I can take a hint. Let's just go fight the boss. Again, our damage is so good. We're not taking Curse Die just because it, it's an unnecessary skill check I'm not that confident in. I think when you, uh, oh my god, this is actually some of the fastest I think I've ever killed a boss, uh, this boss. This is, like, perfectly tailored to destroy him. Yo, get out of here, dude. I want to go into the chest. This is not fair! I'm a sovereign citizen, you can't do that to me. Alright, wow, great damage at the end of that one. Hope you enjoyed it, if you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.